Thank you for your time to view this brief introduction to Equipment Plus. From a high level, Equipment Plus is a comprehensive enterprise management system that has been purpose-built for companies that handle equipment, the components of equipment and the spare parts of equipment. It has been specifically designed for dealers, service centres, rental companies, importers and distributors and manufacturers of equipment and equipment components. Equipment Plus is built fully within Microsoft's premier ERP system, Microsoft Dynamics AX. This is so all the standard features of Microsoft Dynamics AX can be used seamlessly with the industry-specific equipment functionality that Equipment Plus provides. As a demonstration of this seamlessness, and to give you a quick impression of, of Equipment Plus, here is a screenshot of a personalised work dashboard for a user of Equipment Plus. This is what a user sees when they first open Equipment Plus in the morning. It's known as the user's role centre. The role centre shows each user of the system what they need to be doing. It is also where the user is shown all their important information and where everything a user needs to do is only one mouse click away. This provides companies that use Equipment Plus with control over what their employees are doing as well as increasing their productivity, as these role centres direct users to what the company wants them to be doing. I need to highlight that this personalised work dashboard screen is different for every role in a business and this is because every role needs to do different tasks and needs different information to do their jobs properly. Equipment Plus ships out of the box with 50 of these role centres and each of these role centres is able to be tailored for the specific roles in each company. I've put up on screen some of the more equipment centric roles. Now. The functionality of Equipment Plus is based around the concept of a device, otherwise known as a piece of equipment. Simply, a device is an item that requires tracking and tracing throughout its entire life cycle. This life cycle may include things like its buying and selling, its ownership and use, and its service, rental or leasing. With regards to what a device can be, Equipment Plus was specifically built for equipment in the material handling, construction, agricultural and mining industries but any device from a simple appliance to a complex machine is appropriate for Equipment Plus as long as the tracking and tracing of the device as well as the device's composition and or configuration is important. Here is an example of some of the details captured by Equipment Plus using a car as an example. Here are some more examples, in this case heavy machinery and a motorbike. Again, to give you a feel of the system, here is a screenshot of Equipment Plus. In this case, the Create a Device form. Here you can see many of the fields that capture the relevant equipment details. Now that we've investigated the concept of a device, which is the piece of equipment, here is a graphical overview of all the functionality that Equipment Plus provides. I thought it worthwhile to touch on those first four areas there that you see in front of you. First, device management is all about the easy and efficient creation recording, handling and tracking of equipment throughout its life cycle. This includes both new and used equipment and things like pre-delivery inspections, installation of accessories and trade-ins and refunds, as well as, most importantly, reporting on the profitability of each piece of equipment. To give you more of a feel here, this is a screenshot of one of the screens in Equipment Plus. This particular one is displaying a list of a number of devices. This list can be filtered down using any of the fields that you can see. And you can see more information about each device on the right hand side of the screen and of course you can drill down for more information. Moving to the case management area, this encompasses many important aspects including service management and that is for both proactive maintenance and repairs. Also looks after maintenance contracts, resource and work centre workload tracking and scheduling, standard job instructions and standard fault codes, reporting of job actuals versus budget, as well as things like tools for labour to clock in and clock out of jobs. It also includes SMS and email reminders and notifications for both internal staff and customers. For example, SMSing your customer to let them know that it's time to pick up their piece of equipment from the service centre. The case management also looks after inbound and outbound warranty claims. The example screen you're looking at is showing outstanding service jobs and their statuses. In this screen, the colour of the line conveys details about the job to the user. 
of course, the user can drill down to more information about each job. The fleet management area encompasses the rental and leasing of equipment for both short-term and long-term contracts. This includes the clear display of equipment locations and equipment availability and incorporates all the planning and management of equipment reservations and equipment use. Things like all fees and all complementary items that may be part of a rental or a leasing contract are catered for. It's probably important at this time to highlight that Equipment Plus also caters for all the financials of the underlying rental or leasing assets. The screen you're looking at at the moment is one of the rental reservation planning tools in Equipment Plus. This screen is graphically displaying the availability of different vehicles. This view can be filtered down using the options at the top of the screen. The last area of Equipment Plus that I'll touch on today is parts management. Supplying hundreds of thousands or sometimes millions of different spare parts requires specific functionality to ensure the management of these parts is efficient and controlled. Equipment Plus allows the electronic upload of part details from manufacturer or supplier part lists to help this. It also handles alternative and substitute items, handles refurbished parts and item supersessions where items may change their part numbers. It even handles the splitting of an item into two or more item numbers. Equipment Plus also automates the purchase ordering process of these spare parts. As well as providing supply and demand planning tools, it even automates the calculation of safety stock levels and maximum stock on hand levels for spare parts based upon their sales. This takes into account that each spare part has a life cycle of its own. The screenshot you're looking at the moment represents that functionality. I hope this has given you a good introduction to Equipment Plus. Please note that the functionality I've outlined is fully contained within Microsoft Dynamics AX. This enables all of Microsoft Dynamics AX's standard financial management, supply chain management, customer relation management and even HR functionality to be used seamlessly with the industry specific equipment functionality that Equipment Plus provides. To investigate Equipment Plus further, please don't hesitate to contact me, Adair Jury, directly on any of my contact details that you see in front of you, or feel free to contact Hands-On Systems in Sydney, Melbourne or Brisbane. Thanks again for your time.